I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview from the astral chart for the week, March the 2nd, 2015. Okay, so March is a very interesting month. It's certainly a game changer this month. And I do have a report up on my horoscope pages on the New York Daily News.com. Uh, that'll be there from March the 1st and highlight all the aspects that are coming up in March. And uh, I do have that report as a video as well on my YouTube channel here. So I'm just going to go through now and we'll talk about what's coming up for this particular week, the first week in March. So first of all, right at the start of the week and the start of the month on the Sunday, uh, there's a opposition between um, communication planet Mercury and lucky expansive planet Jupiter. So this gives you quite an optimistic feel right from the start of the month. However, there is a, uh, a caution to not exaggerate or not take too much notice of someone else's exaggeration. Uh, you know the rule, if it sounds too good to be true, then guess what? It probably is. Okay, so use it as a very optimistic uh, way of communicating, but just keep that in mind. Also on that day, Mercury is going to be sextile with um, Uranus. So this can give quite a bit of a changeable aspect of what's going on in the chart and in your life. Okay, so be prepared for the unexpected. Things may not be as they look. There might be more information to come through and you want to be just aware of that. Now a few days later we have um, Jupiter in a trine with Uranus. So once again, anything to do with Uranus really is unpredictable and changeable. But this trine can spark creativity, almost like to a genius level. I mean, uh, it's an amazing opportunity to come can come through. You don't want to dilly-dally on it. You want to like be quick to uh, pick it up and run with it. I mean, if you um, you know, think about it for too long, then it could very well pass you by. All right. Now, uh, then we have uh, Venus in a trine with Jupiter. I love this. It's very beneficial. Venus, of course, is uh, the planet of love and money. Uh, it is in the sign of Aries, so it can be a little bit compul uh, yeah, impulsive, rather. And of course, Jupiter is the planet of luck, abundance, and expansion, and a growth and knowledge. So you put these two together, then it's you know a very very positive, uh, optimistic uh, aspect. So you know the uncertainty that comes through in the start of the week can start to unfold now, and you can start to feel like things are you know, working out as they should. And if they don't work out as they should, then maybe they can be actually better. Okay, so don't get too concerned about things not coming through um, at the start of the week. Uh, then um, Venus will conjunct Uranus. So this is a very independent uh, aspect because Uranus is independent. Venus it's about relationships. Uh, it can be quite emotional. It's very intense. If you're starting a relationship, it can start like with one of those almost love at first sight sparks where you just are looking to someone's eyes and you think, wow, I just know you. And uh, I've certainly had that in my life and I think most people have. So that, you know, a deep and intense magnetic type, electrifying love can start during this period. If you're already in a relationship, then uh, it's time to just give it a little bit more attention, okay? Think about what you did in the early days of your um, relationship and try to recreate those first love minutes. Now, of course, if it doesn't it happen for you. Don't worry. It just means that it's not right for you right now. Perhaps you have other things that you need to focus on. Okay, so love comes along when love wants, I find. Um, all right, let's move on. So then we have Venus in a square to Pluto. Um, 
this can it's like a deep passionate connection here it can be almost inhibited you know when you really like somebody and all of a sudden your gregarious personality sort of disappears and you become a little bit sort of shy and coy so uh you know that can certainly happen during this period and you have a little bit of a difficulty expressing yourself. If that's the case, then just take it one word at a time and uh, think about what you want to say. Sometimes, I mean, being an earth sign, I find it good to write things down and that way, you know, it sort of clarifies it for me and I'm able then to, you know, get across what I want to do. But each and every one of us have a different way of doing that. So what I'm saying is just be aware of what works for you and this is a good time to put that into practice. Then the last uh, major aspect that I have listed for this week is the sun is in a sextile to Pluto. So this is um, at the end of the week This and it's very good for business. It's a sextile so it's an opportunity but don't forget when the sun and Pluto are together in any aspect it can bring up a little bit of a power complex okay so uh, teamwork is the key and certainly with the you know we've got like one two three aspects this week with Venus and uh, two with uh, Mercury so it's about communication and teamwork okay so I mean of course Somebody has to be the leader and some signs are just naturally uh, better at taking control and leading. So I'm not saying, you know, don't honor your own personal zodiac DNA gifts, but I am saying, you know, it's always good to work in with other people as well. There's always room for compromise. There's always room for negotiation. And uh, at the end of the day, um, I, I believe it's about relationships, okay, whether it's love, romantic, family, social, business, that's what we're here. We're working with our relationships and, and of course, first and foremost, our relationship with ourselves. and it's through the relationships we have with other people that help us, uh, you know, grow and evolve and become better people ourselves. All right, so it's an exciting month. Do go ahead and have a listen or a read of the overview report for March. And now I'll get on and do a quick um, snapshot for each of you for personal star side. Love and luck to you. Hope something fabulous happens for each and every one of us during March. Thanks for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel. Bye for now.